Despite my warning in the sewers video, you are going to want to have to learn this eventually. The good news for you is that while this trick has been historically inconsistent, since that video was made, there has been a setup discovered to make that trick more reliable. But first, what are we actually trying to do when we attempt Cucumber? Essentially, we are trying to hit a kiss the rail, while also being low enough that the game's attempt to cling us to the rail for that one frame pulls us into the halfpipe itself, which will then bring us out of the map by extension. With this, there are a few things to keep in mind. The first thing is that the rail doesn't actually make up the entire length of the halfpipe. If you grind the rail, you can see there's a section right at the end where you won't grind and will just stand on the halfpipe itself. You're trying to cling to the end of that rail section, not the end of the halfpipe. Secondly, jump timing. The geometry of the halfpipe is made up of a handful of sections which will make up the ramp, rather than a smooth curve. The key takeaway here is to keep in mind that where you jump will matter here. If you jump too far up the halfpipe, you will short hop, but you'll jump too high and won't connect with the rail. For an example, look how high I jump from the section next to the bottom of the halfpipe, and then look how high I jump from the section right after it. Finally, the visual cue. For a majority, if not all players, the visual cue are the metal beams that are in the sewer's halfpipe texture. You're aiming for where the line going across from the halfpipe meets with the line going through the halfpipe. For this trick to work, you're aiming to jump there at an angle which will hit the end of the rail with your height being relatively low. If your angle is off, you'll hit the section past the rail and do a trick jump, which will cut into the time you have to attempt this trick, or you'll hit the rail itself and grind along the actual rail. If your height is off, you may hit a kiss the rail, but you won't get pulled into the half pipe, or you may even miss the rail entirely. Historically, you just had to go on a vibes approach, and this was a skill that top runners would build upon through blood, sweat and tears. However, in 2023 there was a setup developed to help improve the consistency of not only hitting Cucumber, but hitting it first try. That said, it's still useful to know the theory, as missing the first attempt will mean that you have to go back to trying to hit it the quote-unquote classic way. The setup is relatively simple. Once you enter the sewers, simply do not move. Once you have come to a complete stop, you can use a boost dash, and once you are off the ledge, you can hold the thumbstick forward. If you time it right, you can bring your thumbstick halfway between up and left and time your jump. And if you do all this correctly, you will have achieved a cucumber. That said, this is still a very easy trick to mess up. Plus, you'll need to find a tying method that's right for you. In my opinion, the best way is to use any method that works from the moment you boost. And to manage that, you'll need to find a song with the right BPM, or you can use a metronome. To help with this, success has been found with songs that have 135 BPM, as well as a song at 146 BPM being the Scrappy, which will be the song that you hear by default entering sewers. The best thing I can advise is just experiment until you find something you're happy with, but for the sake of example I'm going to show a few examples with music, and one that will be with a metronome. The first example is the Scrappy. As you enter the sewers for the first time, this track will be playing. During the cutscene, try and practice getting the beat down, and once you stop moving, you want to count 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, and then turn and jump on the half beat. Now this song isn't 135 or 146 BPM, but it's also a personal favourite of mine which shouldn't get me executed by the YouTube police. This song is 110 BPM and relies on competent jump timing from the player, which can potentially make it more prone to error than the Scrappy or any song at 135 beats per minute. However, if you've played Bum Rush Cyberfunk, you'll be familiar with this track. As with all other methods, it'll be a classic boost on the first beat, and you want to be counting 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, at which point you turn and you jump. While there are many songs with 135 beats per minute, YouTube will break down my door and kill my dog if I play any of them. 
so I've included a Spotify playlist made by a community member in the description with some examples. Now, unlike other methods, you'll want to be on beat and you'll want to turn on 4 and jump on 1. So the example of what you're looking for here is 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1. So remember, on that last one, that's when you jump, and on that last 4, that's when you turn. And there you have it, the worst trick in Jet Set Radio Future speedrunning history today made slightly more bearable. <laughs>